Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing whole numbers and unit fractions. This is standard 5.3L in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Harriet baked three cakes. She cut each cake into equal sized pieces. So we have our equal groups. That's pretty obvious. That means we're looking at multiplication or division. And each piece was one ninth of the cake. It's a strange fraction. So what is the total number of pieces after Harriet cut these cakes? Well, let's see if I can draw a strip diagram to figure out what we are going to do here. What's my total? I've got three cakes. I'm going to cut them into pieces, but I don't know how many pieces I need. I do know each piece is going to be one-ninth, but I don't know how many one-ninths I can get out of three full cakes. So that lets me know it is going to be a division problem. It's going to be three divided by one-ninth. That's kind of strange. I think I'm going to draw a picture. Now, I am no good at drawing ninths on a circle, so I'm going to make each of my cakes. I'm just going to turn them into squares. Let's do that. Let's say she's going to bake three square cakes. I can make ninths on squares simply by doing grids. There we go. So I've got ninths right there. I've got three rows of three. I've got another three rows of three. And I've got three rows of three. So there we go. I've got my one-ninth pieces. I've got nine pieces there, nine pieces there, nine pieces there. All right. So it looks like, makes sense, might have 27 pieces. So my picture lets me think it's going to be G, 27 pieces. My question is, how in the world do I get 27 from 3 divided by 1 ninth? Well, in order to figure that out, we need to understand about reciprocals. Reciprocals are numbers that you multiply by another number to get it back to 1. So let's say I've got the number 2. I want to multiply it to get it back to 1. Well... 2 is already bigger than 1, so the only way to get that back to 1 is to multiply it by a fraction. And you can multiply it by 1 half, turn 2 into a fraction. Any whole number turns into a fraction simply by putting it over 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So 2 halves equals 1. Now take a look at this 2 over 1 and 1 over 2. Did you notice they're the same? They're just flipped upside down? That's what a reciprocal is. So let's take a larger number. Let's take 100. What if you wanted to multiply 100 times something to get it back to 1? Well, you have a lot of work to do. But let's say 100 is a fraction. If you make it 100 once, 100 over 1, flip it upside down and make it 1 hundredth. And look at that. Look what you're going to get. 100 times 1 is 100. 1 times 100 is 100. So that's what a reciprocal is. It's the thing that is the opposite or the inverse of a number. So what we know is that dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. I'll say that one more time. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing by a ninth, which we could do, but you kind of need a picture to figure it out, what if we multiplied by its reciprocal? So we're going to change this division into its inverse operation, multiplication. We're going to change this 1 ninth into its reciprocal. Kind of think of it as the inverse. And if you can't think of it, think about flipping it upside down. What if we just flip those two? You would get 9 once. But notice how we don't really need 9 once, right? 9 holes is simply 9. And guess what you're going to get? Look at that. 3 times 9 that's going to get you 27, and our answer is G.